Hello guys, Asar Scope here on another video. So today, we're going to check the differences between an IPS LCD display and a Super AMOLED display. So basically, LCD versus OLED. So over here, I've got the Galaxy A20s with an LCD display. And over here, I have an A51 with the Super AMOLED Plus display. So in this case, the resolution doesn't matter. The chipset doesn't matter. What matters is the type of display because that's the only thing we're going to test out today. So, uh, first things first. Usually people say that it's better to use an OLED than it is to use an LCD. But some people prefer LCD over OLED. And there are a couple reasons for that. Number one, an LCD display is more durable. So, even if you use it for long periods of time, it can maintain the brightness, it doesn't heat up much, and over the years, there's no side effects. Now with OLED, on the other hand, uh, if you have experience with OLED phones, if you use them for a long period of time with high brightness, and if you have the same static kind of image on it for a very long time, over the years, you will experience this thing called burning, where the image of your phone uh, of this display on your phone is permanently in a semi-transparent state so whenever you go you'll be seeing your keyboard for example or let's say the battery indicator which is always here so when you enter an app a full screen app you see, still see the after image of that battery indicator still burnt into the display right there so that's one disadvantage but if you use it as a normal person, you set it at a reasonable brightness and you don't use it for a very very long period of time, extreme level usage, it should be fine. So the first thing you gotta know is color control. So the thing about color control is LCDs are not very good with color control. There's always a bluish tint to the displays whenever they do that when they go very high brightness and you can see when it comes to color control the A51 is actually doing a better job over here so let's go into the key phone app okay dialing into the keypad app both have the same type of display but you can see that on the left side there's a kind of uh, inconsistency while on the right side with the OLED display is very consistent with the colors and that's one of the things about uh, LCD displays is the viewing angles so let's go back there and if you see when I tilt it to the side the bluish tint actually increases and when, when I tilt it this way you can see the bluish tint increases. Now, with the A51, that's not the case. It's not the case. The color doesn't change at all. So, color accuracy, OLED is always better. And brightness, actually, it's variable. It depends on the display itself. In this case, the A20 is cheaper, so it's not able to manage that much brightness so the next test is contrast ratio that's one thing you need to know when you're talking about displays the wider the contrast ratio the better it is and why that enables you to watch HDR videos HDR is the difference between the whitest shade and the blackest shade so the wider the color gamut is the more shades of black you can see, the more shades of white you can see. And why that's very important is because I'm going to show you this image. Now, this is a pure black image that I've downloaded. This is the darkest setting possible for each of these phones. I'm going to dial it up all the way to the maximum brightness. So you can see it's actually at the maximum brightness. Now, I have them at this state. 
So, you can actually see there's still a little bit of bluish glow over here while the A51 is totally gone. And why is this? It's because the display, the OLED display works in such a way where if it is in a pure black form, it actually turns off the pixels. So you get the deepest black possible. Now with LCD, there's a backlight, which means there's a layer and there's a backlight. So this layer of liquid crystals, they manipulate the light. And in this case, they are blocking as much light possible to create a black-like situation, but it's not truly black. And that's visible when you turn off the lights. You can see that on the left, despite displaying the blackest image possible, it is still glowing in the dark. And over here, it is still black. So this is one of the proofs of why an OLED is more expensive and better than an LCD display. And this also matters when it comes to efficiency. Because since uh, the A51 is able to literally shut off its pixels during the display of black colors, this enables it to save more energy, whereas the A20S, despite having the same battery capacity, is actually draining power because even in its black state, it is draining the battery from the backlighting. So that's all for today's video. Thank you, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for more videos like this.